Well, the Institute is a college of the University of London, so it's an academic institution. By the objective measures that are available, we're one of the top four uh, cancer centres in the world. And I think our distinguishing features are real excellence in both cancer genetics and drug development. What we're really trying to focus on right now is to exploit our understanding of the genetic basis of the disease in order to develop new drugs and other therapies. The defining feature of the Institute is its relationship with the Royal Master. The fact that we have this very close relationship between basic scientists, chemists and clinicians really drives the drug discovery program because the clinical input needs to come in right at the beginning. One of the major strengths of the Institute and one of the reasons I wanted to come here is all the work that it does in training young individuals, scientists and also clinicians. They can work in both research and clinical practice. I myself am a product of that and it was a wonderful training here and really gave me all the foundations and the encouragement and the inspiration to think that it would be possible to go on and run my own research group. I particularly focus on childhood cancers and breast cancers. And what we try to do is find uh, the changes in the DNA that might make an individual more likely to develop cancer uh, in the future. Our objective is to develop more effective cancer drugs. To do that, we target the many genes that have been discovered here at the Institute, and we design drugs that work very specifically on the pathways that are used by the cancer genes to make a cancer cell. And by designing drugs that work in this very specific way, we can produce drugs that are more powerful, more effective, and have fewer side effects than the drugs that have been used in the past. You really need a large team, you need a very well organized team, and you need a professional team that's expert in the skills required. A very promising new drug that we've discovered, and which has just gone into clinical trials, is called an HSP90 inhibitor. HSP90 is very important in cancer cells because it protects the proteins that are made by very many different cancer genes. So our HSP90 inhibitor drug will have a very powerful effect on the cancer cell, and will also, importantly, block the development of resistance. Well, I think that the industry has a very strong focus on its students. We're one of the mo most important aspects here. So I think they concentrate a lot of effort and attention uh, on our studies. So there are a lot of uh, lectures available for us to go to and there's a lot of support for students here at the Institute. I really enjoy the bench work, really enjoy being in the lab and working on the day-to-day -day experiments and coming up with new experiments uh, to carry out. The relationship between the researchers at the Institute and the clinicians um, is a very important and unique one because it allows the treatments or the science to go straight from the bench to the bedside as quickly as possible. So our, our science is not left just in the lab in published papers, it actually gets taken to the patient in a very quick and effective manner which is really important and really what we're here for. Cancer research is a real passion of mine, um, particularly because I've had many family members and friends affected by cancer. My nan died in 1995 of bowel cancer. Um, my good friend of mine um, died in 2005 from leukaemia. And my grand died in 2007 from lung cancer. So it's very important for me to be doing cancer research and it's very important for my family as well. It's obviously very useful for patients to be able to come in here and to see the work that we do so that we can make that process very much easier for them. The ICR should be a very accessible place for people to come and have a look around if they want to. I'm certainly very keen um, to give people lab tours. I know that other people are keen to do the same and I think that's very important if people are fundraising for us and want to donate money that they understand very clearly the work that we're trying to do here. Thanks very much indeed for your time. We're enormously grateful for your interest in our work. These really are very exciting times for cancer research. There are great possibilities going forward. We mean to realise those, but to do it, we need your support. Thanks very much indeed.